Hello, I am Dr. Martino Malerba. Check out our new study in the journal Current Biology. Did you know that the genome of an amoeba is 200 times longer than the human genome? In fact, in nature there is no correlation between genome size and animal complexity. Yet other features are related to the amount of DNA. For example, larger cells have more DNA than smaller cells. But the evolutionary forces shaping genome size in nature remain remarkably poorly understood. The selfish DNA hypothesis argues that the DNA of a species tends to accumulate selfish genes that are unnecessary and can represent a burden with negative effects for the organism. This theory predicts that minimizing the amount of DNA is a good evolutionary strategy that can improve the fitness of a species. In this experiment, we test the relationship between genome size and fitness using 72 lineages of a marine microalga. Our goal was to investigate if reducing DNA content within a cell could be beneficial for the growth and performance of the species. As expected, cells that are larger in size also have more DNA. But more interestingly, among cells of equal sizes, those that have less DNA show greater fitness than those with more DNA. These results match the prediction that reducing the amount of DNA in a cell by limiting redundancies can have positive effects for the fitness of a species. But if minimizing DNA can improve fitness, then we would predict the species should decrease their DNA content as they evolve, which we tested by monitoring our lineages for a year in the laboratory. Our results confirm that cells decrease their DNA content by up to 11% across 100 generations of evolution. However, we also found that cells with already low amount of DNA showed no change over time, which suggests the existence of an absolute lower limit in the DNA content of the species. In summary, our study provides direct evidence for fitness benefits associated with reducing relative genome size, which is consistent with the selfish DNA hypothesis. But we also see that there is an absolute minimum genome size below which the species cannot seem to maintain its essential functionalities. Check out more here.